Okay, let's get started with unit four. Remember to be finger spelling the words as you, see, as you see them on the screen, and we will show you the sign. So your first sign for this unit is the sign for colors. Colors. And the sign is colors. Colors. Our first color is red. And it's red, like red's on, red on your lips. Red. Now the sign for yellow is a Y hand and it shakes back, shakes around. So yellow. The sign for blue is similar to yellow, but it's with a B hand and it's blue. Blue. Green, the sign for green. You'll see a pattern is a G hand shaking. Green. Green. Now the sign for brown. There are two signs for brown. The first one is brown. Again, brown. It's a B hand on your on your cheek. The next one is a forehand and it shakes, so brown. Now the sign for black is black. Black. The sign for white is white, white, pink, the sign for pink, the P hand and it's similar to red is pink, pink, purple is a P hand and it sways back and forth smooth, purple, purple, gray, the sign for gray, is gray, like you're mixing white and black together. Gray. Orange, the sign for orange is the same as the sign for the fruit orange, and it's orange. Orange. Now the sign for rainbow is rainbow. Again, rainbow. Clothes, or to get dressed, is clothes. The thumb brushes your shoulders. Clothes. Now the sign for a dress is dress. Dress. The sign for hat is hat. Hat. Shirt or blouse is shirt. You're just going to tug on your shirt. Shirt. The sign for skirt is skirt. Skirt. Jacket or coat. It's like miming putting on a jacket. 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 Hair. The sign for hair is just hair. Hair. Eyes. The sign for eyes is eyes. Again, eyes. The sign for ear or ears is you tug on your earlobe. Ear. The sign for nose just makes sense. You point to your nose. Nose. The sign for mouth is circling your mouth. Mouth. Now the sign for hands. There are actually two signs for hands. The first one is like you're cutting off your hands at the wrist. So hands. The other sign is just presenting your hands. Hands. Now the sign for tall is there's actually two signs for tall. The first one is tall and it just needs to be taller than you are tall.
Now, if someone is really, really tall, there's tall. This means really tall. Now we have the sign for thin. And it's a G hand or an F hand, and it goes down like that. So, thin. Beard. Just generally, the sign for beard is beard. Beard. Now, the sign for short is short, and it just needs to be shorter than you. Short. Now, the sign for pretty or beautiful, there's small differences. The first one is pretty, and it's pretty. Again, pretty. Now, beautiful adds a little extra, and it's pretty, and then it goes back up. So, that's the sign for beautiful. Now, the sign for ugly is ugly. Ugly. Now the sign for black person or African American, there's two signs. There is black and then adding the agent person. So black person. Or you can sign African American where you draw the shape of Africa and then you sign America. Again. African American. Now the sign for white person. There are two signs for the sign for white person. The first one is white person. It's probably the most common. White person. And then the next one is white on your face. So white person. This is an older sign. Now the sign for Mexican is a V hand right on your temple. And it represents the sombrero. So now the sign for smart. 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 All right, now we have really, really smart. Super intelligent is intelligent. So really out there, really, really smart, intelligent. The sign for friendly or pleasant is friendly. And you want to make sure you have a smile on your face when you sign this. Friendly. Now the sign for arrogant or big headed is really signing big head. Arrogant. Now stuck up or snobbish is stuck up. Like they're turning their nose up at you. Stuck up. The sign for good is similar to thank you, just good. Good. The sign for bad is similar to good, and it's bad. Bad. Now, sweet-natured. The sign for sweet-natured is sweet-natured. Sweet-natured. Now, the sign for attitude. This can be a good attitude or a bad attitude, depending on your face, and it's attitude. Attitude. Now, soft-hearted is soft-hearted, like you're saying soft over your heart. Soft-hearted. Sign for nerd is an N hand, and it's like pushing your glasses up. Nerd. The sign for fun. This was kind of a weird sign. It's two U hands, and it's fun. Again, fun. The sign for funny, something's funny. And this is at your nose, funny. You want to make sure your thumb is out. Funny. Now the sign for silly is a Y hand shaking at your nose, silly. Silly. Curious. The sign for curious is an F hand at your neck, circling. Curious. Curious. Selfish. The sign for selfish is selfish. Selfish. Now confident. The sign for confident 
is confident. And you want to pull your chest out when you do this to show confidence. Confident. Face, appearance, or looks is just circling around the face. And so it's like appearance. Feelings or emotions are feelings or feel. Feel. Now, taste, this can be to taste something or your taste in music or preference, and it's taste. Taste. Now, the sense of smell. So this could be bad or good, just smell is smell. Smell. Now the sign for sound or to hear something is just tapping your ear. Hear. Same, like somebody is the same, is same. Again, same. Now the sign for to see or your, your sight is see. See. The sign for right or correct is two number one hands, correct. Right. Now the sign for wrong or mistake is wrong. It's a Y hand at your chin. Wrong. The sign for not yet or you haven't done something is not yet. And you want to bounce it. Not yet. That one. Specifically that one is that one. And it's in the direction of wherever that is. That one. The sign for picture or photo is picture. Picture. Famous or celebrity is famous. Famous. Now the contraction looks like, so if you say somebody looks like somebody else, it's looks like. So it starts at your nose, and then the number one hand goes away. Now talking about vertical stripes, it's a forehand going down. Vertical stripes. Horizontal stripes are a forehand going across. So, stripes. Now, plaid or checkers, you just add those two signs together. And it's plaid or checkered. Plaid. The sign for polka dots is polka dots. Again, polka dots. That's the end of Unit 4. Make sure you're practicing. We're going to do a lot of activities with these in class, and we're going to learn how to describe different things.